Hi, I'm Michelle Mosenin, the drug safety and pharmacovigilance expert on the Embase team. Today, I would like to show you how to validate my search strings in Embase. Just for some context, as a literature searcher, I need to find all records relevant to my research topic. It is therefore critical to avoid any syntax errors in the search string and to ensure that it captures all necessary search terms. The problem is that especially in complex search queries, syntax validation can be cumbersome. The good news is that Embase will help you identify and correct search syntax errors. There are several ways to do that depending on the complexity of your search. In this first example, we will enter the query and run the search. If the syntax is incorrect, Embase will automatically display a validation error. The error will help me make the necessary updates to the string and run the search again. Now let's see what this looks like in Embase. Here we are in the Embase quick search where we can enter our query in this field. Let's say we want to search for cancer gene therapy. In order to search for exactly this phrase, we need to add apostrophes around it. Accidentally, I added two of them at the end, which Embase will not accept. Now, if I click on the show results down here, an error screen pops up and telling me that there is an unexpected character in my search string. After I have removed the extra apostrophe, there is no validation error anymore, and the results are shown. Of course, often searches will be much more complex than the example we just saw. But even in those cases, Embase provides help to easily identify any incorrect characters or terms in the syntax of the string. All we need to do is follow these four simple steps. Create our search or modify an existing one. Then we review the syntax by hitting test. We edit the search string if an error message occurs, and we accept and update the search if there are no errors. Now let's see what that looks like in Embase. Here we are in the results section of Embase. As you can see, we have already uh, constructed a large search string with many terms and lots of special characters and so on. We want to make changes to the string, so we'll click on Edit. Let's say we want to remove a specific term uh, from our search. Before running this search, we can click on uh, Test to see if the syntax is correct. In this case, we receive an error message because apparently we forgot to remove some parentheses when we deleted the search term. Imagine trying to find an error in a large search query like this without any guidance. But with the notification, we can locate that there is an error and easily correct it. Once we've updated the necessary updates, we can run our search. And that's how easy it is to validate your searches with Embase. I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for other video tutorials, please feel free to reach out to me using one of the available channels. Thank you.